from Otsego High School, Toledo Sports Network is proud to bring to you girls high school basketball, and this is a big one tonight, Pat. Yes, I got the man, one and only Pat Eakin here tonight, and uh, high school basketball. It's going to be a good one, huh? Yeah, we got two teams undefeated in the league, and undefeated in Ohio. Neither team's been beaten by anybody in Ohio. Otsego ranked eight in Division Three. Eastwood 13 and three overall. All three losses came in California. Yep, out of San Diego. Hey, this is going to be a match. This is going to be down. We got a full house here tonight too. Full house, Mike. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good basketball game. A lot of scoring. A lot of talented basketball players. And that's what you're going to see tonight. Yeah, of course, Jamie Schmelz, the Haas, and all the girls over there. But you know, I was talking to some of the people here at Otsego. It's going to be what kind of game is Schmoyer going to play? Are they going to have her outside right. popping threes? Right. Or is she going to be inside beating them up? Right. And how do they defend Jamie Schmoes? Right. I mean, East was putting up the points. They've been beating teams by bigger margins than Otsego. But Otsego's built that way. Oh, they're yeah. They're built to rebound. They're built to win. And nobody's beating them yet. And it's going to be a test for both teams tonight. Well, we're really excited to bring this one to you tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stick around. Our first game of a double header here right here on the Toledo Sports Network Uh, yeah, turn the lights off and, and, and announce the starters, and we're off. We're off, Michael Jamison, here in this great, big, probably the biggest game of the year, definitely the Northern Buckeye Conference, one of the biggest in Northwest Ohio. I'm just glad we're here. I'm glad we're here, too. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, I like having you here. Now we got our first foul of the game going to happen early. Yeah, we're right up and down the floor just like that, and people are still – Selling in their seats, we got a packed house here. And of course, we got a lot of traffic right in front of us right at the beginning. People trying to get to their seats. Oh, I think it was uh, all steel. Aubrey Haas got it. There you go, and the Eagles are up first. Aubrey Haas, that pressure defense, Eastwood averaging 70 points a game. Far more than Ot Seagull. Definitely. But like I said, these are two teams that are built differently. Ot Seagull undefeated, state ranked. Look at this. Oh, I thought that was going. Haas with the rebound for the Eagles, gets it over to Schmelz. And Schmelz has just been, just she's been the traffic controller here. Oh, she's been unbelievable. She's breaking records in these courts. She virtually owns the school record book. She broke Terry Pokemeyer's record against Anthony Wayne. We were there. Oh, yeah. Three-point shot. Now she's chasing, believe it or not, Aaron Lonazak's record. I don't know if you know who Aaron Lonazak is. No, was. no, no. Oh, my God, you would have. There's Schmoyer outside. To see, that's yeah. that's what we're going to see. Is Schmoyer going to be playing inside or outside? If they use her out there, and Eastwood's going to get up and uh -huh. down. They're going to put points on the board. They might have a hard time getting to 70 against this hot single team. Well, Brianna Limes, nice shot right there. Got the rebound. Put it back in. Oh, no. That's tied it that's up. CPEC. And that's what Hot Single does. They can rebound too. They know how to get position. They got four girls that know how to rebound. Ellie Alberts, Janelle Moser, Taylor Sepik, Hannah, Sm Hannah Smoyer averaging nine and a half rebounds a game. Well, so far, yeah. there's Smoyer inside. Wow. Abke got her that time. Smoke brings it down the floor. Jamie averaging 21 points a game. You know, she's, she isn't Ten taking. Rebounds. She's not taking as many three pointers in the first half of the game, but boy, she nails them in the second half. Limes. <laughs> That's a Genoa Bank three-point shot. Oh, no, it isn't. I'm sorry. That's a two-pointer. I thought that was a three-pointer. Well, it's a Genoa Bank two-pointer. It's a Genoa Bank. All right, Marty, it's Genoa Bank. Yeah, that's what Marty yeah. wants. Marty wants a two-point shot, sir. Sure. Uh, they're looking at going back to uh, the Eagles, and uh, this is a game both these teams have been talking about for a while, and they actually play like in a week, in a yeah. week and a half, because yeah, I, the I, schedule got screwed I up. I don't know how the schedule did that. I'm sure uh, one of the games got rescheduled for – one of the reasons maybe Eastwood's uh, tripped out to California. I think that's exactly what it was. Yeah. I, I don't know what uh, reason was. but They got a uh, real late start here. Because none of the other NBC teams are playing league games tonight. Some of no. them are, are playing, but not league games. So. Well, Rothford's got Genoa. Okay. Well, I know, I know Woodmore's at Lakota. Right. So, I, I don't know. You know, it's Sauter with the uh, 
little twinkly feet there. We'll leave it at twinkly feet. Eastwood just two points, two and a half minutes into the game. Yep. They're not going to get to 70 at this rate. Yeah, but you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Oh, a travel. I see a lot of them so far tonight, huh? Yeah, unbelievable JV game. Uh, Eastwood gets two uh, shots right at 20 seconds left, intentional foul, and wins 34 to 31. Uh, that was kind of fun to watch leading into this game. Uh, crowd into it, too. We East got a nice one hitting. tonight. Boy, Eastwood not hitting a baseline three. Missed nice entirely. Brinkman. Oh, oh, that's a that's steal. A nice Sauter steal. got it. Yeah. Aubrey Haas made that all happen. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they ain't going to call boy. that. Yeah, no, they're not. There's nothing and there. And that hurt. Oh, she's limping a little bit. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. And she gets the foul on this end. Moser's going to go to the line, talk to her uh, her dad, either her dad or grandpa. Her, her, her brother. Or is that her brother? Nick is her brother, yes. Sir. Yes, Nick is her brother. Big guy. Uh, yeah, don't call him dad. Yeah. I, you might have a He's got the black that. coat on tonight. Uh, uh, oh, I think it was her dad, maybe. Oh, James, Sm James Smeltz? Is he here? No, 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 no. Who are you no, talking it's about? Moser. Oh, Moser. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I've already embarrassed myself enough, yeah, so we'll, we'll we're, end we're there. Let's That's talk about Mick Foster and financial professionals at Wells Fargo Advisors. Oh. Got to thank them for helping make this game happen tonight. And there's Aubrey Haas Thank again. you, Mick. Thank you so much. Sophomore extraordinaire right there. Oh, there Lundart. Hello. Caitlin Lundart. That's a big Eastwood basketball name. I remember... Oh, there's a nice steal by Jane. No, it's by Lewinart. Pass over. Transition, two points. Yep. That's Eagle wants a timeout, Mike. Probably a good idea. We'll be back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Stick around. Genoa Bank helped finance my great-grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. Foster Jones Langen, investment group of Wells Fargo, is a proud sponsor of Eastwood Football. Our team of financial advisors can provide a full range of financial products and services from helping you select individual investments to developing a retirement plan, we have access to a broad array of company resources. Contact us if you'd like to help your development for strategies for pursuing your financial goals. Give them a call at 419-872-3859. Go Eagles! Great one for you tonight here, 7-4. to four. It's our first uh, night of doubles, double headers. we got the double headers rocking and rolling tonight as the uh, Genoa Rossford girls games on channel one tonight. So we've got them both there for you. Mike Jamison along with Pat Eakin. That's Toby Ledesma's crew going at it over there. And We're Sammy all a big family. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, There's another steal. another steal. Nice. Aubrey Haas nice does not miss anything on left. Nice transition, nine to four. Eastwood's up with over four minutes left. In the, we're not even halfway through the first quarter, so maybe Eastwood will get there. At this rate, they're looking pretty good. Um, and there's Brenna Menner. Menner, she she just does a, a six foot two sophomore. She's incredible, incredible man. Starting now, get the starting role. Yep. And I'm thinking this program is set even when Jamie graduates because there are so many talented sophomores in this team. I agree. I totally Just agree. so many. And, you know, they worked these, very hard all season. They played on that soccer team, the Sauter girls that went undefeated this year during the regular season. Another travel. Wow. Farmer. Uh, well, you, you get some officials. They just want to call that. <laughs> that was Pat Eakin who said that. Yes, officials I did that say watch that. These yeah, well, when you start seeing it a lot, you know, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I didn't look at it the It just depends there. on the game. It really does. Yeah. Sometimes you get that, sometimes you don't. Smoyer's going to take it to the hole. Boy, Smoyer and Abke going at it. How about it? There's a rebound by Schmeltz going the other way, just like that. She's going all the way and tries to get to the hole. 
Oh, could it be another steal? Oh, that's it's going back to the uh, Eagles. So I remember watching Anis Moyer when she was what a freshman yep. or sophomore playing. Was for that her team. brother who played here, or was that? Yes, it was her brother. And remember, all, he used to all, listen to our games. They're all the late, the late Dwayne Smoyer's kids. Yep, yes. yep, yep. Dwayne is incredible. What a, he oh, and, he and, what a pass. He and Rick oh. Donald won our first golf league championship. Roberts with a nice block right there, and she's a sophomore, and she's playing real well. I'm sorry, she's a junior. They got the steal. Brinkman's going to bring it back. Yeah, Roberts. Oh, oh yeah. there's another travel. Well, you know what? That was a travel. That one was. The official. Yeah. Oh, he had them all right. Oh, yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm a former official, so, so I can't be knocking the, the officials. Here's the deal. Pat, Pat's a little worried that these officials are come knocking on his door, maybe right. throw a little hay in one well, of the open it, windows with a little I'll tell you what. gasoline on it. <laughs> when I officiated, I'll tell you what, it wasn't. Peach baskets? No, it wasn't peach baskets. Oh, nice it's, it's rebound grand, by Abbott. Grandpa waiting in the parking lot oh. ready to beat me up is what it was. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We got somebody hurt and down. That's Brinkman. She just actually fell on her own there. She just kind of tripped over her feet. Yeah, I thought she was hurting pretty bad. Yeah, she's fine. She gets up and she's, she's ready to mad, go. She's mad at herself. Uh, was she Mattis? laughing? Was she no, laughing? I don't know. She, she just went completely face first. And okay. I probably should stop talking about it. I don't want to embarrass her. Right, right. Because that, that was an embarrassing. Yeah, it's embarrassing. She's a great kid though and these kids play well and they play hard and uh so i see on the zone trying to force eastwood to do that go. who's that do that do that hitting the three is caitlin lewinhart that's two of them 12 four. to four eastwood up yep yeah, that's two of them four up and that's, that's going to be off that's eagle that'll be that's Eastwood's going back ball. that's, that's right. going back Eastwood up 12 to 4 with just over two minutes to play. I'm going to announce the score a little bit for radio for Mick and others. Uh, we are streaming though, right? Oh, we're yeah, streaming. we're live okay. in color. Okay. I think we are. Okay, good. I, I hope, I hope Mick. Right. Oh, that's and we can do, another we can, turnover. We can go into television mode here then. Yeah, a lot and a lot of uh, turnovers here. Let so the viewers watch and don't have to listen to us all the time, yeah, right? Turn the volume down and just okay. do okay. your own thing. Okay. We got Ron up on camera up there. We'll get him to zoom in a little Ron, bit more. Ron Hammond and, doing the, the camera. Our man. Yeah, I didn't set up an audio feed for him, and I apologize for that, but there were just uh, so many people here I wanted to make sure. Right. And it's basically our first night, and I'm on the second system right now. Right. You know, we now have three available systems. If we wow. had enough sponsors, wow. I've got guys wow. to do play-by-play, -play, color, wow. camera. We're there. It's We need to get more people involved. Wow. And uh, we lost our we lost our union support. Uh-oh, yeah. there's Abke. Wow. Nice. Look at nice. Abke with the Boom. run, the steal, and the layup, and that was just nice anticipation. By Sydney Abke. Well, what you see with 14 to four, the minute they have to go. One of your power people inside that can handle the ball that well. Brinkman brings it right back. Yeah, she's usually one of your big people that post up inside. You know, she's not your your typical uh, ball stealer and transition scorer. Oh, missed everything. I think it might have been blocked. We could definitely have a foul here. Hey, Front Street Cafe over there in Pumberville. Yeah. Do they not have the best food? Oh, they food? have good food, yeah. I, uh, I've, I have had a, two great breakfasts there. Joe, I, was, yeah. I went in a couple of days ago, didn't get a chance to eat. Yeah. But they had, they had like chicken chunks. They had all kinds of good stuff, and uh, they're helping us bring you this game tonight. Well, let's Thank go you. there tomorrow. Yeah, you, you know me. You know what I'm going to do on I'll meet you there before lunch tomorrow. Friday. Double oh. dribble. Wow. Travel and double dribble. Yeah, I don't know. This is like fundamental know. fouls here. It's like. Okay. Don't see them call it uh, every day. And minute to go. Eastwood's up 14 to six. God, this is only your second game you've done with me this year, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I, we I, missed you, buddy. You're well, Anthony Wayne all the way well, now. Well, I have mirror, 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 uh, mirror, but Mommy mirror's been good to me. I just can't turn well, away. Well, you got it they, exactly. I exactly. Just can't. They've just been too good to me, Mike, and they want me at AW, and it's kind of where I'm dead. And I enjoy it. I, sure. I love AW. I love the people there. And, and it's really, and I've been doing that since 01. So that's my, that's always been my moonlight job. I think we got a timeout here, folks. We'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Stick around. 
Front Street Cafe is a cute country-themed cafe located in Pemberville, Ohio. We have the best home-cooked breakfasts. Our soups and homemade pies are to die for. Our focus is to use local products here in Pemberville. Our meat comes from Frobo's Meat Lockers daily, Herzl's canned tomato products, and our perch comes from Port Clinton. We have a very homey atmosphere, bringing joy to Pemberville one meal at a time. Come hangry, leave happy. Front Street Cafe. Still here in the first quarter live on Toledo Sports Network, and this game will be on CW 13.2 Sunday at 10.30, and uh, appreciate all the great people helping out with uh, all these games. And Pat Eakin, and you got Ron Hammond up on camera. Uh, this is probably going to be the – this will be the uh, – this will be the uh, super team. Or yeah, what? well, people will be watching this game, and I know, I know you've got viewers now, so it's a game I'd want to see. Certainly. Oh. Seven yeah, seconds. Kind of forced the issue inside. She's got time. Put it up. She got it off. Oh! Thanks oh, it. My friends, that is huge. That is huge. Yeah, Tingle needed that. 14-9 to score. And at the end of the first quarter, we'll be back with the second quarter right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Smoothbore Sporting Goods, 425 West College Avenue, Pemberville, Ohio, is your firearms specialist. We buy, sell, trade quality firearms and hunting supplies. Smoothbore Sporting Goods can help you with your technical support for all your firearms along with professional repairs. Call them today at 419-287-7111 before your next weekend of hunting and check out the newest firearms and hunting supplies before you head out. Smoothbore Sporting Goods, 425 West College Avenue in Pemberville, your one-stop hunting and firearms store. Now we're about ready to start the second quarter here. What? Well, maybe we'll start it again. <laughs> I don't even think they took any time off the clock. Pat Eakin from the Press Publications. So thankful to have you here tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Glad to be here. There you go. Eastwood, you did exactly what I expected. Yep. Pressure situation and and uh, use that to their advantage. 16 to 9, Eagles are up. Well, you know what? When when Eastwood starts putting the pressure on, that's when boy, you better be able to uh, do it. And there you go, mentor. Right, right. Trying to cross court, cross court. Well, you that's, know. it's fun to play that way. And Eastwood's got a lot of depth too. Yeah. Eastwood's got a lot of depth. They can run up oh. and down all night. There you go. Souter, man. Whew. That's McKenna, right? Yes, that's McKenna Sauter. Wow. First team all state soccer player two years in sophomore. a row. Sophomore. Sophomore. She's yeah. a sophomore. First team all state in soccer as a freshman and a sophomore. Wow, that's incredible. You know, we've had so many people ask us to do I mean, soccer. I mean, are, are you a play by play guy for soccer? Uh, you know, I've never done soccer, I've but never, I would love to. I, I play. We may, I if we can get some sponsors, we'll. Uh, that would be fun. Yeah. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah, people just got to realize we got about 300 bucks into each one of these games at least. And the same thing would happen with soccer. But uh, think about it. Schmeltz is fouled. That's smart of Jamie going to the ball and forcing a the foul. There's just really no chance for anybody to make a play on that. Once again, special thanks going out to Mick Foster, financial professional over at uh, Wells Fargo Advisors, 872-3859. Oh, took now that, that one in that the head. That was a bad pass. You should have. Yeah. She's uh, she's she's gonna throw that. Now with the angles, you try to make the angles yeah, out. Yeah, and, a uh, nice fake there and going right yeah. to Smeltz would have been good. I mean, you still got the back court too, so you can if you, you need, need to go yeah, to the back. They're in the zone. You need to be moving right. the ball, not dribbling. Well, see, that's one thing that I like about Atta Eastwood. Look at them move this ball. Right. Attack the gaps if you have to. Yep. But move the move the ball. A lot of the. Uh, there There's your three. A lot of the, uh, the especially with the girls' teams, they they kind of get. Bewildered when you get into the zones and oh, Eastwood, yeah. Eastwood and Siegel both. Nice, beautiful. Oh, nice, nice ball hey, movement. And, and where is Eastwood's defense there? I think this is going to be a two-point game either way, Pat. I'm telling you right now. Once it all comes to fruition here, I'll tell you they're uh, Abke all the way to the hole. Look at this. Oh, oh. reverse layup. That's Aubrey. Aubrey Haas. She's averaging 14 and a half points a game. 
The only uh, other player besides Jamie averaging double figures. She can score. Yeah, this is... Uh, Jamie, oh, a little bit of showboating there. Uh, not that that's really. not showboating, well, that's her. I wouldn't say she really meant to. She just, it's just convenient. She, she just has convenient. a way. It's convenient. It's convenient. It's the right thing to do to keep You got to remember, away. she was playing against Nick yeah. and all those guys her whole there's, life. Oh, there's she a walked. travel. There's a travel. 21 to 11 is our score here. Uh, 5.30 in the second quarter. All great people that are, and hey, if you want to uh, text us, let us know you're listening. 419-514-1302 is our text. Just give us a text, let us know you're listening. We appreciate it. and uh, makes us feel good. After 14 years of doing this, it's kind of nice to have people that actually listen to us. I actually had a, I had a, a beautiful grandmother ask me for my autograph. Whoa, there you go again. You know, they're going to let Eastwood do that. Caitlin Lewinhardt hits that one. And now we're at 20 40, 11. Yeah. Five minutes to go in the half. Well, you're, you're, at this point, it's pretty safe to say that. Uh, well, the, you said a two point ball game just a minute uh, ago. I'm still thinking. I'm still okay. thinking this is not going to be. Uh, once they start making some stuff happen right there. You know, those three schools Eastwood lost to in California. Oh, look nice. them up. Yeah. They, they, are, they are big schools. So. San Leandro, the enrollment, oh my gosh. Yep. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, Nick told me Moser. he'd have rather lost to those three schools than stay here and won three games. Well, see, that's the mentality you're starting to get with these really good coaches now. Yeah. You know, like in the these Christmas tournaments and stuff like right, that, they right. they're going. They've been invited to go right, to these right. things, and you know, and the it's fun great raise, for everybody's them. all in. They took eleven girls with them. Yep. All eleven played. I wish they'd they asked me. And they, well, you know, we should Maybe gone. someday. I don't know. Well, we could have. I wouldn't mind it. We had to pay our own way, but, you know, we could have. You know, I can get military flights. Oh. I can just stand by flight. You and I could go anywhere in the world if you want to go. Yeah, I don't know if we could take all the equipment. That's the hard thing. Well, know? I, I can arrange it. Oh. The thing is, if some general wants to go somewhere, we might get pushed aside. <laughs> <laughs> Smells goes down on that one. There's Moser again. She gets it over. That's Limes. Boy, she's oh, dead on. There's your, there's your comeback. Here we go. Back to a nine-point game. Yeah. Limes is a baseline shot, but he comes right down. Menner. And Brennan Menner gets inside in the paint, scores. Up and down game, 26-15. Playing to Eastwood. Oh. Oh, let's see if I got fouled. They just move it so well. Yep. Yeah, this is gonna get this is gonna get crazy here for the next three minutes. Nice lines. Gets her own rebound. I like how she plays. Oh, oh block. Menner got her. Wow. That's going oh. back to the Eagles. Nice block by Brennan. Six foot two and a sophomore. Oh my gosh. And she has ability. She's got feet. You know what I yeah. mean? Oh, she does. She's a basketball player. Like I always say. She's a basketball player. Especially if you're tall, you yeah. have to jump rope. Yeah. Jump rope and get that timing down. And you can tell she does. Very, very well put together. In the matter, there's another three. Boy, they're putting oh, them up and they're hitting fire. them. My God. Caitlin Lewinhart. 12 points. I think four threes. Four threes. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, she's either hot as coals or and today she's hot as coals. Okay, and there's Brenna with the uh, with the rebound. Going back the other way. And there's a foul. That's three uh, against Hot Seagull team fouls. Well, we, just did, trouble right now. we just did the Hot Seagull game uh, at Tuesday night. Okay. Tuesday they played uh, they played Genoa, yeah. and uh, we did that game. We got that up on our ToledoSportsNetwork.com and on YouTube. We got games everywhere. You never realize we did yeah, seven games, games Monday. Seven games for that Martin Luther oh, King yeah. Classic. Charter schools you did. Eighth grade. You said you did oh, oh, eighth grade. It was eighth grade. grade. Okay. Norm Weimer and I did it. It was some of the okay. best basketball well, I have some of those, seen. Some of those charter high schools in Toledo have good teams. Yeah. Benaventure Academy Maritime. They got high school teams. Yeah. And they got the enrollment. They could have football teams. I yeah. mean, those schools could join the OHSA. They got a little momentum going. There's a girl. Her name is uh, Sine Roberts. Yeah. Uh, Bennett Ventures Academy. There's a steal in the other way. And that's McKenna Sauter. 
got that soccer speed. That reminds me of watching Hannah Rebicki play for Eastwood. Mm-hmm. For Francis Wayne. Same thing. She'll get that steal. She'll dribble down there faster than and you can than you than you the lightning. Uh, Seagull's not giving up. They're moving their ball a lot better. There's a foul. There's a foul. See, See, that's what they got to get dinged. Yeah. They got to get dinged. Neither one of them's in foul trouble. Uh, both of them, I think, uh, no, three and two. Eastwood they both got three. Eastwood at 31 points already. We got over two minutes to go. 31 to 15. A little over two minutes to go in the first half. Ellie Roberts at the line. There you go. Got to win it at the foul line. Like we said, Otsego ranked eighth in the state. So I don't know what this says about Eastwood. It they, says nothing. The second half is going to be crazy. And these two teams will meet again no matter yeah. what happens. And yeah, we'll do right. with that game, too. You're right. Yeah. The second half will be crazy. It will be I nuts. Guarantee you. I guarantee you. And they're. Because uh, uh, Scott Byrne Thizel will come out and Thizel, right? Byrne Thizel. Burn He'll, come out. He'll come out and there'll be a whole new game plan in the second half. Yep, another foul right there. It's, it's either Abke or no, it isn't. It's Mentor. Well, that's huge. But you know what? Eastwood's going to play 10 to 11 players tonight. He's going to play 11 girls. He's going to run, and he's going to stay on it. Actually, that was on Luthard. Luthard, that was her second. Aubrey Haas is back in the game. When Aubrey's in the game, it's a whole different beast. And right, we got a timeout here, folks. Thanks for watching Toledo Sports Network's coverage of high school girls basketball. And we'll be uh, right back. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A-plus BBB accredited business and a platinum preferred contractor. As a platinum preferred contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-year warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. Hey, we're back. We've got one minute and 50 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Mike Jamison along with the one and only Pat Eakin and uh, Mr. Ron Hammond on camera. He's on guitar tonight, right? Guitar. Ron, Hammer and yes, Ron Hammond's on guitar tonight. Oh, he'll like her now. When you, when you, when you, when you say that, he'll... Yeah, they're, so they're trying. It's just not happening. That, 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 He's our age. He's a rocker. Classic oh, yeah. rock from our, our time. Sauter gets Coming in Coming down there. the other way and just transition. Just scoring so many baskets in transition. Yep. And that's what we saw him do against Anthony Wayne, too. They put up 67 points against Anthony Wayne. And that's an athletic Anthony Wayne team they were playing that night, too. And you know what? Anthony Wayne did come back in that game, too. Oh, there's a block. Let me say something about somebody. Mosher's got to go all the way to the hole. Ah, oh, don't stop. Yeah, you got to go all the way. You're down by X amount of points. But I like that. There you go. Nice That's shot. Roberts. Baseline shot by Ellie Roberts. She's um. Get it under 10, and that's your goal for the half yeah. here. You got 49 seconds. You got to hold them here, and because uh, they'll go for it. They're the, they're, the, well. I say that, and then they slow it down. Aubrey's going to the basket. Yeah. yeah. See, well, I always say you got 49 seconds left. Even if you've got a 10, 12-point lead, you hold it for that last shot. But uh, I, Nick and I go about that all the time. We yell about that well, all the time. Oh, you should have been a coach, Mike. I was for 19 years. Nice, Moser. Got to make them. Oh, got it back. Limes. I think that's her first miss today. Good looking, though, all the way around. 13 seconds left. Where did you coach, CYO? I coached CYO. I took kids to uh, Columbus did three years in a row. No, 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 no. I coached 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and junior high. Or, or high school. I, I actually did high school CYO, too, with Ron Gladio. Oh, that's where it goes back and then, to. And then Ronnie went and coached at – Ronnie went and, went and coached at Stritch. You see Ron was our football soothsayer champion yeah, this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kicked me out of Joe there. Joe Sapersky. Well, we'll, get uh, you, no. we'll take you back I, Is this my year coming up? We'll, we'll, should I get we'll – Should I start, start working is, out for it? The problem is we got it. I got to work it on it? Yeah, work it out. All right, I'll work it out. All right. Halftime right now, 33-19 is our score. Eastwood in control. But you know what happens. We've got a second half to play, and there's a lot of good things happening. We'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. 
In fast food, there's value. Then there's fresh value from Subway. Fresh value is just $2.99 for the six-inch oven-roasted chicken, seasoned all-white meat chicken raised without antibiotics. Fresh value is the $2.99 six-inch veggie delight with hand-cut veggies and freshly baked bread. Fresh value is freshly prepared for you, like the new Subway sliders starting at just $1.89. There's something for everyone. That's fresh value only from Subway. For the holidays, make Walt Churchill's Two Markets your holiday headquarters. You'll find all the tasty, sure-to-please party trays and fixings to make your entertaining a great success. We specialize in USDA Choice, USDA Prime, and dry Age YU beef to ensure flavor and tenderness for any event. You'll find a great selection of domestic and imported beers, wines, and spirits, too. Make Walt Churchill's Markets your holiday headquarters. Check us out at waltchurchillsmarket.com. Great, he great guy. John Zazda said, hey, I'll write a future story, a sports story, for $10 an article. And John hired him. So I'm not even going to tell you what I get paid now. I mean, Steve would be jealous, you know. Uh-oh. Look, look at this one. Great checks mad, mad at me now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> See? Jim, I, come on over. I know. We got room for you. We uh, get Jim, you three Jim here. Jim checks mad at me now. Come on, Jim Graycheck. I, I can't win. I can't win all these great I, games. I, I thought he was here. I thought I heard I got to get him. You know what, though? I do have to get him, and I have yeah. promised him a game. Yeah. I did. And yeah. he would be fun to oh, do. Oh, he would be good. I'd love to do a game yeah. with him. I want him to work that out. Sure, game we'll do it. Sure, we'll do it. We're live here at uh, at Seago, if you're listening to this on a Thursday night. We'll be here actually tomorrow night, Friday, too, as at Seago takes on Genoa on boys basketball. And then we'll have the uh, Rossford Lake boys game tomorrow night. And then Saturday, the rossford Wasian game. So we're rocking this week. Boy, I'd love to see that rossford Wasian game. Well, well you can watch it on your phone. And that's an Owens. That's an Owens. Well, I'll be at a, I'll actually at a high school hockey game. I'll be covering that Saturday night. Right, you can just kind of click Anthony, it on. and Anthony Wayne and Perrysburg. That's going to be one mean hockey game. Smoyer gets it started. And suddenly we're back to a 12-point margin. And so that's let's what see, you need. Let's just see what uh, Seagull has in store for us here. If you're on Seagull, you got to get all oh, nice inside. Oh. Yeah, and they're in more of a uh, – it looks like more of a man defense there. Well, they're going to have to. <laughs> they're, they're just going yeah, to have to. they got to force the issue. Here. Brinkman, three. Oh. Is that three? Yes, and here you go. No, no. Two. Two points, though. Two points, 17 feet. Ten-point game. Yeah, at this time, this is where Eastwood's got to be very careful. Yeah, they're still in kind of a zone. I, I don't yeah. like, I don't got to be zone. careful. Uh-oh. Brinkman Remember, brings it up. You know, third quarter is when a lot of games are won and lost. Yep, so yep. You fall asleep at the wheel. Nope. That was not a good shot. But Smoyer's oh, there. Oh, now she's Eight playing. points. She's playing where she should be. And here come the Knights. Here come the Knights. They did change things. Aubrey Haas puts one up. Doesn't miss again. McKenna gets it over to, oh, man, nothing but net on that one. There you go. That's a Genoa Bank three-point shot. Now we got a timeout. We'll be right back right here on the Toledo Sports Network. For the holidays, make Walt Churchill's Two Markets your holiday headquarters. You'll find all the tasty, sure-to-please party trays and fixings to make your entertaining a great success. We specialize in USDA Choice, USDA Prime, and dry Age YU beef to ensure flavor and tenderness for any event. You'll find a great selection of domestic and imported beers, wines, and spirits, too. Make Walt Churchill's Markets your holiday headquarters. Check us out at waltchurchillsmarket.com. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. Always like listening to a little Chicago. Oh, so Danny Smith just walked in to be just you baseball coach. Gotcha. He and I go back, way back when I was assistant general manager of the Bowling Green Breeze. He was, he and Mark Nell and Kyle Reiser were our coaches. I want to watch that. See, got to be, uh, oh. should have been a foul somewhere there. Oh, well, yeah. But Jump you know, ball. Loose ball. That's going to come back to Eastwood right now. 11-point lead for the Eagles, 36-25, a little over six and a half to go. 
Uh oh, here we go. Great check. How about the rematch at Eastwood? Uh, we'll make it work, Jimmy. Okay, we'll get you okay, in there. Jim. We'll get you. We'll okay. figure it out. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. I think yeah. it'd be fun. Yeah, we could do three people. What the heck, right? We'll make it work. I, I don't see why not. Unless I teach you how to do all this. <laughs> oh, I, I think you would. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I have to look the date on that see what night it is. Very impressed with Otsego's defense on that one. Inside Abke. Didn't move. Good job. Souter. Still getting a rebound. Getting a little getting the ball. Oh. Wow. Impressive. Eastwood's moving the ball real nice. I think it, it, I think it was tipped too. How did that fall I in? My I think it was tipped. They gave her three. It was tipped yeah. two points. Right. 39-25 is our score right here. Once again, big thank yous out to Mick Foster, financial professional at Wells Fargo Advisors, helping us out tonight. You know, thank you. Gave us a nice big box of Cracker Jacks. We always like that. Yeah, thanks, Mick. That yeah. Cracker Jack. Excellent. 872 The prize inside, I always do. I never get the prize. I never get the prize. You didn't get the prize? Never. Oh, Schmelt wide open. That's her. Oh. Nope. We're not hitting them now, and that's what Burnt Timber Sauter got it. And Sauter puts her up, and she's going to get two shots. Well, the problem is for Otsego right now, when they get down in there, they're not boxing out enough, and they're le they're, the backside is leaking in, and they're the ones that are getting everything. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie's East doing it. Eastwood shooting has kind of gone the other way here a little bit. And this has been the hot and cold of these uh, of these you know free throw deals, and uh, it's scary either way. Missed them both. Schmoyer with it. Yeah, and there's a foul, and now Jamie Schmoltz is bleeding or something. Huh? She got punched in the face. I guess she's all right. She's kind of bumping her face off, maybe just a little bit. Not bleeding, First of all, not that bleeding. ain't gonna stop her. You know better. I thought, she, I thought she got hit in the face and she was. I thought she was in the face. Moving it around. She, she Limes inside. Oh, I like it. I like it. CPEC uh, inside. She's been kind of quiet. Yes, She's been has. quiet today. And CPEC really, has. when they played Rossford, she was just incredible. Yeah. Well, and, she, uh, she's at, she averages over seven rebounds a game. And, you know, that's what some of these girls do so well. I mean, nobody averages double figures for Otsego uh, in tonight's game. So. Um, you know, Bryn Limes is 9.9 .9 points, just just under 10 points right. a game. I'd think we'll find a way to make this interesting. Mm -hmm. they're, well, not, they're not going away. No, not at all. And they're making their foul shots. So, right. you know, well, you're stopping the clock. Uh, right now the Eagles have uh, three team fouls, so, uh, you know, but Eastwood can move the ball very well. And when you've got five ball handlers out there like, like you do with Eastwood, it just makes a whole different story. Just came right inside on that. Now that's yep. going back. I like what Otsego's done change-wise here, and uh, uh, this trap's going to get him. Uh, Brinkman gets it over there. Oh, got it. Back to a 10-point game. Nice baseline three. No, was it? In. No, it was two. It was a two. Two, two, I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know which way they're, they're, what are they saying? Well, you got two refs over there. Yeah. Yeah, that should have, I think that was East Switch ball. No, it was on single ball. Oh, it was? Yeah, she, she hit it out. Right okay, there. okay. They got it right. Brinkman and Schmelz going at it. Man, they just nice. Oh, they got it back up. Men, oh no, that's Haas. It's going on the line. Yeah, Eastwood just getting down there in transition. That's a big part of their game. Uh, although I think it was doing a good job of getting back here in the second half. They're doing some things right. Enough that uh, yeah, the first one. Eastwood's got to get to the free throw line and make free throws. Four minutes to go in the third. Eastwood's still up by 11, 40 to 29, but 
Uh, Siegel doing a much better job here in this third quarter. You know, I always say this, and Gary, her dad, just kind of snickers at me. Uh, but with her being left-handed like that, but she's worked so hard to play right. You know what I mean? Right. And, and left-handed for her is just its kind of a secondary. I like it. Oh, thanks her in. Yeah, that's what they put Scotty them back Brickman. for there. Yep. 5'8 senior, averaging over nine points a game. So many players can score for this team. Both teams. Look at that. Oh, I thought she got it. I got a jump ball. That one's going back to uh, that signal. So we're, still, we're back to a 10 point game. Eastwood still holding on to that pressure defense, which yep. they will do no matter what the entire Basi game. Basically a man to man, and then they throw that trap in right about at half court, and it bam, it gets them. There it is. Oh, she got through it. Nice job. Bring it all the way. Oh, nice block by Abke. And here comes Schmelz. Oh, and that's stolen. Moser gets it. She should go all the way to the hole. Oh, nice. Roberts, there you go. That Siegel takes it down to eight points, so we got a ball game. Uh, CPAC with that one. Right place, right time. Boy, that one almost got stole. Jamie's just not getting the three down tonight. A little short. Brinkman gets it up to Moser. Looks it. Oh. Ah, they're trying to get it inside. It's got to be a bounce pass. Sauter, she makes it. And he's doing transition. I think he's got to do a better job of getting back. Yep. Uh, that was just too easy. Just too easy. She gets a rebound. She's one of the smallest players on the floor, and she goes the whole length of the court and easily gets back in time. Nice. That going to the line. That stops the clock and make something happen. Jim Graycheck, look what he said. He's, he's going to await my invitation. He's been invited. And give, give Pat the mic that doesn't work. <laughs> All right. You got a lot of love in this house. You know that? Yeah, I, I don't there know. There you go. <laughs> so... All right, I, I just uh, I see I, Jimmy. He doesn't need a mic, so yeah. it's, he's loud enough without the mic. So nice. <laughs> what do they got coming in now? Aubrey Haas is back. Got Farmer out there. You got Abke and Schmelz and uh, the solder for the Eagles. <laughs> nope. Oh, she just, got tipped. They're just living and dying on three. Yeah, right I don't now. I don't understand it. I I don't Boy, Brinkman's gonna take her. That should yeah. Yep. Should have got her back on the other side there. Epke with the foul. I'm thinking that could be a two maybe or Oh, that's her fourth. That's her foul. Fourth foul. Smart move by Otsego, especially Brinkman. Yeah. She knew it. She knew she had fouls, and she was going to take her on. That's confidence, and that's a good thing if you're a basketball player. Yep, uh, it's coming back this way. Oh, inside, nice, beautiful. Oh. CPEC got her. There they are. Transition again, once again, beating the press, beating everybody down court. Long pass from Jamie Schmelz to Caitlin Lewinhart. You know what? I don't have any problem with what she did, though, because that was that was basically a oh, bunny. Sure. It was going to happen. So sure. you might as well, sure. you know. I, I'm not going to argue with that. I'm not going to argue the foul. First one's up. And right now, Eastwood's just not finding the rim, finding the net or anything. Not making free throws or three-point shots. Well, this is what happens when you get a you get that 10, 12-point lead at halftime. Oh, sure. Yeah, you know, you yeah, get a little. We've, uh, we've seen it. We've seen both. it. You get a little relaxed. You come out in third quarter. Smoyer. And against a good team, you can't let that happen. Smells. You're going to have to stop. Wow. Beautiful. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Brinkman with the. Sorry, it's Limes with the rebound there. Nice inside there. I think it was Roberts again, tried to put it up. Oh, that's going to go back to the Eagles. Wow, that's Eagle had an opportunity there, a couple of shots in the paint. Sure. And couldn't hold on the ball and the rebound. And about 107 left to go in the third quarter here. Mike Jamison along with Pat Eakin from the press. I love him to death. He's a great guy. And I just don't like golfing against him. Every time uh, I golf, he gets a hole in one. I, I I'm do. too I nice. Do. Every time. Every Roger time. Bacon and I are too nice when we golf in your league. But, and you yeah. still need a, somebody for the Crossroads League Arch Tuesday night. Well, you got, you got Archbishop Roger Bacon golfing. <laughs> the Archbishop. <laughs> <laughs> and in the high school, actually. Oh, Archbishop Roger there Bacon. There you go. That nice move by Brennan Menner. That's how you do it. There you go again. And seven points, another steal coming the other way. Euro step. A little bit. Not quite going to go. Fighting for oh, the they're basketball. everywhere now. Let's stay here. Oh, it's going to get rugged and rough. Both teams going after it. I think he's got the ball and calls a timeout. Nick Schmelz wants to know. I don't know if I saw possession by anybody there on that. Yeah, exactly. We'll be right back with more. It's LeaderSportsNetwork.com. Pro Golf Airways, a fun and competitive destination. Play over 100 of the world's top golf courses, PGA National, Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill, Innsbruck, and Pebble Beach. Get lessons from tour instructor Jeff Menor and custom fit clubs from our pro shop. Golf isn't our only game. Take aim with our shooting simulators. Gaming, balloons, competitive shooting, it's fun for all ages. And while you play, you'll have full access to Nick and Jimmy's. With so much fun to offer, be sure to plan your next party at Pro Golf Airways. Competitive fun is waiting for you at Pro Golf Airways on Monroe Street next to Nick and Jimmy's. And we got us a doozy tonight, folks. Third quarter, 45-35, but the score fluctuates three to ten points here. <laughs> Every time it looks like uh, it is going to be out Seagull's ball. They gave it back to him. I like it. All the way to the hole. See, the problem is, and this is my thing with Otsego right now, the girls are trailing them, and once they get through them, you just got to keep going because yeah. you're going to get hit, you're going to get the line, it's going to stop the clock, and you're going to make things happen. And uh, you got a foul? Yep. Yeah. Call, the foul. Yeah, but he had his hand out off for the, a, off the ball, off the ball, away from the ball. That's six fouls. You got one more. You do everything in your power now if you're at Seago to take the ball to the hoop, no matter what. Or that happens. Jamie, Jamie, don't miss them. Nice job. And there's a there's a rough turnover right there. Throwing the ball away. Jamie forced that. She caused that turnover. Yep. She's a basketball player. I, I'm interested to see what she decides to do after she's done high school. I, I really like to know. I know there's a lot asking right now. Yeah. CPEC with a nice rebound. Get it to a ball handler and don't don't stop. Yep. That's gonna be the end of the third quarter, 47-35 is our score right now. We got the last. Quarter coming up, it's going to be a doozy right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A plus BBB accredited business and a platinum preferred contractor. As a platinum preferred contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties the Owens Corning True Protection 50 year warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. Bankruptcy can stop wage garnishments, collection calls, harassment, lawsuits, utility shutoffs, evictions, foreclosures, just to name a few. The law offices of Patricia A. Kovach are dedicated almost exclusively to representing the people and businesses who are overwhelmed by debt. Is your debt keeping you awake at night? Call us at 419-787-2666. The Law Offices of Patricia A. Kovac. And we're about ready to start the fourth quarter here, actually. Starting at Mike Jamison along with Pat Eakin. Wonderful game so far, and you can't count Otsego out here. No. 
And especially when Eastwood's not, Jamie's not hitting her shots like that. Uh, Eastwood's closest win in Ohio it was the Anthony Wayne game, 67 to 56 on points. They have not won a game. Uh, every, every win in Ohio has been by double figures uh -huh. margin. So I think he's got 12 points to make up in the fourth quarter. And like you said, you got six free throws. You got, uh, they're going to be in a 1-1. One -one. going to be shooting free throws. So we'll see what happens. All right, nobody came out to help her. Right. It's just Eastwood's pressure defense. Just relentless. Just relentless trapping, like you said, and coming right. out the half court. Yep, yep. And not staying off the ball and forcing those kind of mistakes. Well, I, I like what Scott's doing here with Otsego, though. We, he wants to get that seventh foul so they can, uh, you, you know, take advantage of the free throw line. Staying 2 3. That's what you want him to do. Aubrey East, gets it back. Get all those loose balls right oh, nice, nice. Oh, all the way to the hole. All the way to the hole. Do not. Mm. There it is. Nice. And got it. Nice ball movement by the general or by the uh, Knights leading to uh, Taylor Seep and getting the, the inside shot in the paint. Yep. And uh, that's what they need to do is keep that ball moving against that pressure defense and not be standing around. She's looking. Lunart missed that one. Oh, that was no, that was ha Haas. Haas yeah. That's Jamie going to the line now. Haas and Schmelz just going after it inside oh, the definitely. paint. They're just, they're just doing everything they can to get every, every ball that's out there. Shooting a couple free throws should help Jamie with her shooting walls here tonight a little bit. Still, still not there. Still not there. Still not there. She's been struggling from the uh, three-point line here a lot. And... Uh, Well, Jamie, for the year, has made 33 of 53. Let me see this here. 22 of 51. Oh, yeah. well, she got her own rebound, missed right. them both. She is strong. Yeah, 30 of 109. So she's shooting under 30% for the year. Saw her all the way to the hole. She's going to get two. And now the clouds are racking up against the Knights here. Sure. Actually, though, that you know what? That's Schmoyer's first foul, so yeah. that's not a bad thing. Well, nobody's in trouble except for Atkins, So, Boy, these free throw woes just keep happening. And Danny Sauter at the line, and Eastwood's missed three straight free throws. Man, think, they're shooting like you do. I think there's a lid on the rim down here in this, this end here. Somebody's got the rim screwed on too tight. There she there, goes. got it. They needed that. So the Eagles still up by 11, 48-37. Over six minutes to go, plenty of time. Sorry about that, I had it set up 48-47. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are the things you just can't do. Yeah, those are kind of mistakes. He kind of lost track of where she was at. She's trapped at the uh, half court. And that half court trap is just causing a lot of mistakes tonight. Don't stop. Limes has got it. Limes is going to take it all the way to the hole. Put it in. That's what you got to do. And Limes gets it under double figures. Nine point lead. That's over and back. Oh, boy. Well, they're giving that two out Seagull. That's a nice ball right there. Uh, I, I, think, uh, I don't think she ever touched it is what he was no, trying to say. No, I, don't, I don't think so. But. It is what it is. Most hot seagull, nine points. Boy, that velvet Plenty voice. Plenty of time here for the Knights. That velvet voice you're hearing there is Pat Eakin. <laughs> well, Corn, not to Jim Grayson, it's not velvet. I know. He's get off the mic here. You, you got to go buy him a dinner or something. Uh, take him out over there to the Front Street Cafe. And I'll take care of you over there in well, Pepperville. Well, you know, what he's saying is, and I do agree with him, is get him on the mic because I tell you what. He knows the stuff. Can, he knows the stuff. Yeah. He can analyze the game. Get him over there. Coach. Jimmy's going to do the uh, the rematch of this game here in about two weeks. We'll have that one for you. 
I mean, how many coaches were as successful as Jim Grasick as a basketball exactly, player? Exactly, exactly. Hey, that's uh, foul number seven, and guess what? We're going to the line. Yeah, it's going to be a long 5-43 here. Uh-huh. Both teams shooting, and, uh, you know, I going to force force it at both ends. So. Sure. She gets that one, it's down to eight points, 48 to 40. Not afraid to shoot them, but they're not. Oh, oh I got it. Sauter. Sauter got that to go. Kenneth Sauter in the paint. They're doing a good job of getting to the boards, though, used to it is. Getting, yep. uh, getting the long rebounds. Now take take advantage of this three point opportunity here and make something happen. Got to make these deep breath and make that ball go in. Looks. There you go. Well, she got all the roll, didn't she? She sure did. And got back to the 11-point lead for Eagles. Oh, boy, that trap is just hellacious. Someone's open. Yeah, you're, exact, you're absolutely right. I can tell love is everywhere. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. Opportunities for him out there available, and um, uh, my uh, wife's cousin Jerry, Jerry Wright will have surgery tomorrow, so him and Chica might not be golfing. So it's. You know, let's we'll, we'll see how that all works out. But didn't they just get? Didn't Mr. Reitzel just get back from like Florida or something? Well, he's he's. Or was that uh, his daughter or his daughter-in-law uh, and son? I, I don't know about that. I couldn't tell you that. I know they were there. Uh, they're from Corey Ridge, right? Corey, how do you? Corey what? Ridge. Stony Ridge. No, 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 no. They own Corey Ridge Golf Course. His son. Oh, his son. No, his son owns is. Uh, that's not his son. That's his nephew. Or his nephew. Okay, I'm sorry. And he owns uh, that course in Michigan. Yeah, uh, Corey Cher Rich. Cherrywood. Cherrywood. Or Cherrywood. Right. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You are totally right, and I'm wrong. I get them mixed up. I talk to every one of them right now, getting ready for the golf season here. Yeah. He, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Little too much play time in there. Oh, well, that's gonna stay there. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of that tonight. Uh, challenging on. Uh, Layups and stuff, not afraid to. A lot of officials might call a foul on that, but apparently it was all ball. Again, Jamie Schmeltz. You know, she she aver have. Well, she does average over a block a game, so. Wow. Which is pretty good, really. Farmer, short. Jamie just lets them do their stuff, and they said, okay, now we'll do it my way. Yeah, you know. Bring it out. All right, here's what and, we're going to do. Yeah, and if she can take some time off the clock, if they can do it, they're going to do it. See, Norm Weimer and I always yell about that. Oh. What, what does Norm say? I, you know, I well, he agree doesn't there. like taking time no, off the I clock. No, I think sometimes there are times when you lose your uh, – you're going to turn the ball over. I know. I and, know. Uh, you know, it's – I think it's uh, you gotta know what kind of team you have. If you got a team that can take care of the ball, you got uh, an eleven-point lead, and you got that many people that can handle the ball. Right. You need to take thirty-five to a minute off the clock when you're sure. at four minutes, and you're up sure. that much. Sure. Mosher missing. Sure. 
Mosher, uh, one of the fantastic uh, seniors here. A lot of them on this team. Got the second one. Back, back to 10 points, a little over four minutes remaining. Yep. Going to stay here with uh, the Eagles. I know we That's got. Eagle trying to avoid their first loss of the season. Oh, yeah. Eastwood has three, but all three were uh, two teams from the state of Washington. Two of them were. Uh huh. And one to uh, a team from California. So. Was it San Diego or? Uh, yeah, it was, the tournament was in San Diego. Yeah. And maybe we can put some together so we can do the live broadcast of that next year. Yeah, yeah, that would be fun. They lost to Woodenville, Washington, 64 to 58. Uh, Union, Washington, 81 to 53. That must have been a good lesson. San Leandro, California. 71 to 61. Every win in Ohio was by double digits. They beat Archbold 80 to 52. Eastwood did. Wow. Um, they beat Tom Contact's Rockets 83 to 51. Wow. And t and Tom had a nice team. Has got a nice team at Oak Harbor this year. Well, they're not bad. He's got talent. He's got yeah. some talent. Definitely Sophia Eli. Is she a senior this year? Yes, she is. She is. Okay. Yes, she is. And she's scoring close to 20 points a game. She's having a real good year. Smoyer just got away with one. I don't think he like he has the depth he'd like to have. Three Smoyer minutes. Line. Yeah, three minutes left and what ten point game, so a Seagull needs to put something together. They're still in there, there's still time. And it's amazing to me that Eastwood somehow finds a way to keep that lead at 10, 11 points, because I don't think Eastwood's playing. I think Otsego's no, found something that's working defensively. Yeah. If they don't get it here, they're going to be uh, ready for him in the rematch. This is the second one. Mentor gets it out to, oh, wide open. Touchdown. And, you know, and that's yeah, Otsego's, that. Otsego's forced to press now. They're forced to, and Eastwood's going to beat that every time. Schmoyer puts a three up. It's inside, Moser gets it. Nice pass by, oh my gosh, by Jamie Schmeltz. I mean, it was almost like a no-look pass from half court. In, into Abke here, and I tell you, that's just a heck of a pass. It just caught everybody from my Seagulls team off guard. Cindy gets two shots. Great check just said, Mike, you just give me all three of the mics and you and Pat can sit and talk about golf league. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Well, he really wants it. 3D, really man. Wants, he really wants it bad. Yeah. I, I give him the opportunity. <laughs> oh, I love Jimmy. He's a good guy. He's uh, very good to us in our early years when he was still coaching. And, uh, uh, Oh, he's always good to me. Just a great communicator. Oh, nice turn there. Moser all the way. Nine-point game. Always trying to promote his program, always communicating with you, getting you what you, information you need. And he was mean. That's what you like about him. He really screamed and yelled a lot. I love that. <laughs> well, he's a coach. Yeah, he was good. He's old school. Yeah. But I liked what the way and he did won. things. Yeah, Boy, they, did they won. Boy, did they win. Darn right they won. At this point, you want to take a minute off that clock. You take a minute off that clock. A minute off. The... That's what she's been waiting for. Yeah, she wanted that. She wanted. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. 
Foster Jones Langen, investment group of Wells Fargo, is a proud sponsor of Eastwood Football. Our team of financial advisors can provide a full range of financial products and services, from helping you select individual investments to developing a retirement plan. We have access to a broad array of company resources. Contact us if you'd like to help your development for strategies for pursuing your financial goals. Give them a call at 419-872-3859. Go Eagles! At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. It's crazy, crazy place. 221 left to go. 58-46 is our score and uh, Actually been a very, very good game. Uh, Otsego just needs to figure out a way to get through uh, press breaking here. And I'm sure they'll watch this intentively. Well, the... there's always the rematch. And uh, there's 12 points yet. There's right. still time. Nice. And yeah, you're going to call yep. that inside. And nice uh, going all the way to the basket. Janelle Moser. 5A senior, she'll get two. That can get it down to 10 points. Sure. Need that. Forty-seven fifty-eight. So I saw Randy Gardner here tonight too also. Oh, uh, he former. didn't say hi to me. That's a nor he normally comes Wait. right up. Must have been busy. All the way, Haas is going to get fouled. Yeah, this is where it's going to get long. Well, all these sort has to do is make free throws, right, yep. at this point. And Aubrey's Basically. pretty good at the free throw line. <laughs> until now, until we talk. God, I am such a yeah. jinx. Yeah. They, are, oh. they, they are not shooting well this half. Missed them both. Once again, this is 40. Oh, boy. Where's it going? It's going to Eastwood. Dead ball rebound going to Eastwood. 58-48. No, no. Mm. Uh, okay. Huh. Yeah, I, you know, I think that was the right call. I don't think yeah, maybe. Nobody, nobody interfered with her. And, and boy, that press, I tell you, it just eats you up. Got to play keep away. Got to play keep away. There you go. You want this ball for as long as you possibly can hold on to it. This one's going to shoot. They, they want to score yeah, points. I, know. No I understand what. that, but. They are who they are, and there's Jamie Schmelz getting a foul. With 136 left, I mean, would you want that? You know, you got a 10 point game and you're getting them two, uh, two shots there on the line. So, you know, Eastwood's gonna, Eastwood's doing what they do. That's. Yeah, it's 10 points, but you know, you're, you're giving them the opportunity at 136 to come back two threes and it's a four point game, you know, and all of a sudden. You need to control that ball for this last minute. Jamie Schmelz only has seven points tonight. Wow, they've done a good job of 
Keep it well, she's, yeah, she's kind of delegated the ball real well. Yeah. Boy, she needed that. Got them both. A little patience there. That worked well for Odsego. Jump ball, it's gonna go back to Eastwood. I think there's anything to be said for how this is turning out with minute 16, it's, it's Eastwood Zemmall has won this game, just a transition game. Right. And, you know, the half court trap, the pressure defense. Um, but I'll tell you what, I, I saw some holes that I'd see with Bonner tonight. Um, that there are ways to uh, to beat this Eastwood team, and I'm sure Scott Burntills will will use that. They still put it up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm thinking like you now. I mean, I it's pretty safe. It's not entirely safe, but that's gonna uh, 49 seconds gonna stay with uh, the Knights. Yeah, I know you got the mentality, pound, 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 but you're you're given you're given opportunities to Atsigo to come back in this four or five opportunities, and uh, now you move it around. There you go. I I actually think it's a code word that Eastwood uses, and the code word is Eakin. So when they say Eakin, then they can't shoot the ball anymore. Uh, I, I haven't heard that all night. So uh, I, no, that's what they Eakin, Eakin. Okay. Right. And so so right. they, they don't shoot the ball. They know. Right. Well, I'll ask, they Nick, know. I'll ask Nick if that's a code word. I, I, think, they're, I think they're wrong. <laughs> but if it is, I'd be honored. Sure. <laughs> That's going to do it for us tonight. Your final 60 58 here, Eastwood on top of the Odd Single Nights uh, and Girls NBC action. Uh, Pat, thank you once again. Great, great game. And uh, Eastwood is just showing that that backcourt power juggernaut they have. Yeah, you know, it's, it's uh, kind of what I think Eastwood fans expected, what they thought, even though their team has three losses. They're the three good teams, very, very good teams, large schools. Exactly. And, uh, you know, it'd be like uh, it'd be like playing uh, uh, Cincinnati uh, 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 St. Ursula or something. Sure, you know, sure. For Rod Siegel. So, um, you know, but, uh, you know, there's a rematch, and I think Scott Berntes has learned something from oh, this yeah. game, and we'll, we'll see there. what comes out of it. It's going to be a good one. Folks, we got another one coming up for you right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we got all these games on the ToledoSportsNetwork.com. God bless. Once again, our final tonight, 60-50 Eastwood Eagles on top of the Otsego Knights. We'll talk to you real soon. God bless, everyone.